Onwijs veel zin. Het is weer een nieuwe week, nieuwe kansen. En uh, de omstandigheden zijn echt perfect. Zonnetje schijnt, lage drukgebied. We hebben veel, veel regen is er trouwens ook op komst, morgen. En, uh, maar voor vanavond gaan we het hier uh, proberen. Onwijs veel zin in. Mijn doel van deze video is minimaal twee karpers te vangen op twee verschillende locaties. Maar het derde doel is natuurlijk heel veel leren van degene die dadelijk aan het woord komt. Dat was mijn welkom in Holland. Uh, I always get a great welkom in Holland. It's good to see you guys. We've been promising to fish together for a few years now. Since before you joined Nash. And definitely Marco. We should have, we should have fished together a long time ago. So yeah, it's good. it's good to be finally back out and the sun is shining. My goal is to have a good time and uh, to enjoy my time fishing with you guys and hopefully to catch some fantastic Dutch carp. So we've been to a couple of venues today already. Uh, one of them we had to discount because the fish was spawning sadly, but that was a lovely lake, uh, a real shame. But you brought us to, brought us to a lake called the, the Mirror Lake. Is that, is that the name of it? Just one common? I like it. I like it, it's a cool lake. It's in the middle of a, a big housing estate, but quite a nice upmarket one. So it's got a real nice vibe. There's loads of people around the lake. Um, and it's quite an interesting lake. It's got an island, uh, two sort of separate halves that are joined together by channels. So yeah, it's interesting makeup. The stock is about 40 carp, I think. 40 carp, so yeah, there's a few. Um, and so yeah, we've found a couple already. Uh, obviously in the mouth of the channel. Um, you know, it's kind of the obvious place to, to find carp. And also there's been fish sort of out in open water as well. So there's a little bit of everything. I certainly would be looking over the next couple of hours. I'm just gonna, before I get the rods out, you know, we've still got maybe two hours of daylight left. It's a beautiful evening. I'm gonna keep lapping it. I'm gonna keep looking for signs. Um, I think if I can manage to locate fish and get them feeding, I'll catch them really quickly. So yeah, before I set up for the night, I'm gonna keep looking. Hey Olly, als je nog langzamer gaat dan dat, gaan we achteruit man. <laughs> Lekker man. In the early spring, before the water temperatures warm up, the fish can be quite slow and lethargic, but prior to spawning, you know, that, that sort of month before, they really liven up once the water temperatures get above 15 degrees. And yeah, there's bites to be had and it's the best time of year to catch the biggest carp. Yeah, it's kind of an obvious spot, isn't it, with, with these reeds sticking out here. And we've just seen them twitching. So I'm going to bait it, and it's going to be one of the places I look tomorrow morning, I think. Be interesting to see if it spooks anything when I actually put some bait in. So fishing at this time of year, I find it can be all or nothing. If the fish have spawned, um, and it's a couple of weeks after spawning, then the fishing can be really good because they're hungry. If it's a week or two before spawning, the fishing can also be really good because they're hungry. Um, anywhere in between, in that kind of month in between, it can, be, it can be tricky sometimes. So sometimes it's a question of choosing the right venue. On this particular trip, we've moved about quite a lot. We've encountered some spawning carp um, and where we found them spawning, we've left them to it and we've moved on and tried to find maybe a deeper venue. Um, but it can be a really good time of year. May is traditionally one of the favourite months for people for carp fishing and it's certainly one of my favourite months for carp fishing. Quiet night last night um, and a quiet morning actually. Um, no carp to report, just one tench which got me up at first light. Uh, I was really tired, I went straight back to bed. Should really have got up and had a little look around. But uh, yeah, it had been a long day yesterday, so. Uh, so we're off, we're gonna pack up and head off where are we going to, guys? Where are we going to? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go and try and find some carp, that's what we're gonna do. Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? 
Ik wou dat ik nog zo jong was als die kapers. Nee, even zonder gekkigheid. Balen. Het is echt wel balen, want het is echt een prachtige locatie om hier, hier te mogen zijn en te kunnen vissen. Maar uh, helaas, er zijn andere belangrijkere dingen in het leven van een kaper op dit moment. En dat is echt geen uh, monster schimp of uh, make it happen. Dus uh, ja, ik denk gewoon naar een andere locatie en daar uh, even gaan kijken. Want hier wordt het sowieso niet. We hebben net de vissen gevonden aan die kant. Eén, één of twee. Dan zegt hij, ja, ik ben, ben best wel uh, gelukkig om aan die kant te zitten. Ik zeg, ja, dat is prima, dus ik loop naar deze stek. Ja, hier ligt gewoon heel, heel bestand voor de deur. Nou wilt hij ook hier vissen. Hé, hey, Olly? Nee, ik ga hier vissen, Marco. Nee, 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 nee. Vanuit de woonplaats van Robin hierheen gereden naar een prachtig mooie parkwater. Helaas waren de vissen bij Robin aan het paaien, dus de kans daar om een vis te vangen is niet heel. Dus we zijn hier naar dit prachtige parkwater gegaan. En uh, wat do you think, Holly? What do I think? Ja. Yeah. I like it. This is really nice, really nice. And there's carp. And yeah. they're not spawning. And there's, there's quite a few carp, and this is a really cool swim. We're going to base ourselves here. Definitely, mate. Definitely. Um, there's big thunderstorms coming. We had big thunderstorms yesterday. We've got more today, but hopefully we'll be set with the rugs out. Yeah, definitely. I think I use a ground sheet though. Oh yeah. yeah I'm that. going to brave it. I'm yeah, you're going to brave it. Yeah. That. You're going to brave the rivers running underneath your sleeves. Let's hope not. Tonight. But yeah, we've got some big rain due, so I think we should uh, get set up anyway. Crack on, mate. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's go. Rain was savage, really savage. I'm really glad I put the door on my hide because uh, I think I would be very wet now otherwise. So I've just got one rod out to the snags on my right here. Before you put another rod out, will you look after this rod for me though? Oh, definitely, I, mate. I'm going to go and bait up up this channel here because we've seen quite a lot of fish, haven't we, moving up and down. And I think although it's going to rain tonight, tomorrow's going to be a bit better. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe give us a chance of stalking one, but I'm pretty happy here for the night. Oh, 100% sure. As and long as you don't snore too much. I don't snore, mate. Huh? I'm not Ben Adams, is no, it? We'll see. So visiting a new venue that you haven't seen before can be quite a daunting thing. Um, I think probably one of the biggest mistakes that people make is to go and try and fish too quickly. It pays to spend your time walking around because once you find them, actually the bites can come quite quickly and that's certainly been the case this week. So I would definitely recommend don't rush, walk around, find the fish, that's super important. If you're not fishing on fish, then you're not gonna get a bite. I think there's only two fish, but one of them is the orange koi that we saw earlier on, and he's sending up like plumes of fizzing. So I'm gonna get a bushwhacker out, it's about six sections it's not far at all i could cast easily but i would definitely disturb them with the lead and i might get away of dropping it on his head with a bushwhacker doesn't work all the time but it's like rolling the dice you know every now and again you roll a six so yeah let's get it set up quickly <laughs>
because I'm fishing with um, pellets uh, in a dry spoon. They'll rattle when I turn the spoon over um, as they shift. So if you put a little bit of water in there, it stops them from rattling. So when I turn the spoon over, it'll all tip out a little bit quieter. I'm gonna drop this a little bit shorter than I have done, like very close to where that one's bubbling there. Look at him. But yeah, oh, look at him, he's right underneath the spoon. Right underneath it. He's just swimming off to the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mirror. Look at this carp, man. Look at this carp. Oh, yeah, it's Robin. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. Ah, it's a mirror. There's no mirrors in this lake, are there? Three. There's one in my net, mate. <laughs> Got lucky with that one. What a carp. Apparently there's only three mirrors in this lake. And here's one of them, what a fish. There's a thunderstorm that is literally about to soak us. So yeah, that was in the nick of time. Result. Een hele goede morgen. En hoe kan je beter de morgen beginnen met een beauty in je handen? Onwijs gave schub. En uh, ja, de kleuren zijn onwijs mooi. Vannacht ging deze af in de stromende regen. Maar ik bedoel ook echt stromende regen. Het kwam als bak uit de lucht. En ik kreeg een paar piepen. Ik dacht nee hè. En die veranderde in de volle fluiten. Dus snel mijn slippertjes aan. Stromen de regen in. En uh, Bultus kwam even assisteren. En dit is het resultaat. Hier doe je het voor. Om deze prachtige schubkapers te vangen. Kijk, wel een prachtige mooie kleur. Het wordt tijd dat we deze terug gaan zetten. Spulletjes opruimen. En naar een ander, uh, een ander water gaan. Welk water? Dat weten we nog niet. Dan komen we dadelijk wel achter. En dat gaan jullie dadelijk ook zien als we daar zijn. What a beauty.
there's many, but I think there's one carp here. Maybe not enough to fish for, but yeah, good not bet. Yeah, a good bet. So yeah, this is a really cool park, like man, really cool. Um, it's quite big. There's two sections, aren't there? Are there three sections? Three I think sections. four. I think one is behind us, but I think this is like the more attractive area, to be fair. Uh, look at this one fizzing here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether they're bream bubbling here, but I'm sure when I walked into this this little area where this, the flow's coming in, that I saw um, a carp and a bow wave. And certainly when I, I threw a handful of bait in about 20 minutes ago yeah. when we arrived, and we've been stood here watching now, there hasn't, I would have expected to see a bit more going on. So maybe there's not many here. You don't know, you, you cannot compare it with the last couple of days when we had like bright sunshine. We had loads of rain yesterday and you can see the, the flow was quite, you there's, know. There's colour, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's colour. So maybe there's a, a lot of oxygen in the lake, I don't know, but it, you know, it's better to you know put some bait in there and just come back in the morning or you something. You think, yeah, okay. I think that's a good plan. Uh, so let's put some bait in. I bought some shrimp. Maybe we come back tomorrow morning. Oh, 100%, yes. That's fantastic, I mean. Uh, bread rod. There's a few fish here. We've stopped off this beautiful little lake. Um, I don't think we're going to stay the night here, though. I think we're going to carry on but there is a chance maybe to nick a bite quickly. I can't see how big they are, but uh, I'm gonna freeline a bit of bread. Exciting. Ja, they wel redelijk relaxed met die gozer, dus uh, weet je af en toe afkijken wat die allemaal doen is, want die hebt wel uh, van die verborgen tips. En het uh, is wel leuk om te zien hoe hij dat aanpakt. Hij gaat dus echt pas vissen als hij vissen hebt gezien. Anders pakt hij gewoon echt niet uit. En uh, ja, die, die man heeft gewoon ogen als een havik. Dus hij, af en toe zegt hij gewoon van, uh, zie je dat? En dan zeg ik maar ja, want hè? ik zie het niet. Maar hij ziet, hij ziet zo snel uh, vis. Hij spot zo snel de vissen, dat is gewoon niet normaal. Pure ervaring natuurlijk. En uh, ja, het is wel mooi om mee te maken. But, uh, I'm hoping that he'll eat that bit of bread. Go on. And one of them there. Maybe they're spawning. <laughs> Who knows? Come on. Oh, maybe maybe they are spawning. I think there's a tent Yeah, you maybe tench spawning. Fishing for spawning tench, that's a new one. Hold on. I don't really have much more to say than that. Spawning tench? Yeah. That's what I, I would say if for, for excuse, but spawning tench. <laughs> Dus we trokken vanuit, uh, vanuit het prachtige parkwater uh, vanochtend en uh, zijn we op zoek gegaan naar een ander water. We hadden één water op het oog, daar zijn we heen gereden en het zag er echt veelbelovend uit, maar daar hebben we gevoerd en misschien toch we daar morgen terug gaan. Daarna zijn we nog naar een ander water geweest, maar door de vele regenval wat we gisteren hebben gehad is het gewoon onbegaanbaar om daar te gaan vissen. Nadat we vele kilometers hebben gelopen, maar ook vele kilometers hebben gereden, zijn we hier bij dit prachtig water uitgekomen. Zoals je kan zien, avondzonnetje staat aardig op mijn gezicht te schijnen. Dat kan maar één ding betekenen, het wordt al snel donker. Uh, voor nu, we gaan naar onze stek, we gaan onze spulletjes opzetten en dan hopelijk komen we daar bij jullie terug met een mooie vis. So many carpy looking spots everywhere. Where are those fish? Everywhere, I think. <laughs> At this time of year in particular, I'm fishing for a bite uh, and I'm very careful not to overdo the bait in. Um, I'm using something which will be attractive to the fish, 
but something that may keep them feeding without having to put loads in. So I'm not using a lot of whole boilies. Um, certainly if there's no bream present, I'll try and use smaller particles, um, but bite-sized portions. So a handful in the spoon, a PVA bag's worth. I think last night, mate, actually surprisingly quiet. Um, I went for a walk at about midnight to put some bait in, um, and I was hoping to see some fish jumping, but yeah, it was really quiet. The only place I saw them jump was on the little river that's next door, um, and it's really flooded, and I see a big fish jump twice. Nearly came and got a rod, but yeah. So we're gonna move, we're gonna move on to the big lake. Um, I've just seen some fish fizzing. Uh, there's not so many bream in there, so it's looking like that's gonna be carp. And there's also, uh, Wilbert's just shown me a spot at the top where the water comes in here, and uh, there's definitely one or two carp up there as well, so maybe a chance to stalk one as well. So yeah, all to play for today, let's get going. Ja, we gaan de laatste 24 uur in. We zitten nog steeds op hetzelfde complex, alleen in ander water. Olly heeft nog, nog even een rondje gelopen, heeft er toch wel aardig wat uh, bubbelers uh, gezien, aasende vissen. Dus zijn snel verkast. Vis hier onder de, onder de bomen. Olly vist hier bij de lelies en daar tegen de overhangende takken. Dus ja, dat zijn de laatste 24 uur die we in gaan. En dan moet het gebeuren. Ja, het gaat ook gebeuren, dus daar ben ik niet bang voor. Ja, yeah, this, um, this is exciting. Uh, yesterday, surprisingly few carp um, to fish for on the lake which had more carp in. Um, today I came over here this morning with Wilbur and it's really obvious that there's fish out here feeding, which is my bread and butter. You know, we can, we can do something about it when we can find them. Uh, when I don't know where they are, that's the hard bit, but yeah, there's like, there's definitely quite a few out here. I'm gonna be brave and say, I'm gonna get a bite and I'm gonna get one quite quickly. There's confidence, eh? Um, I'll buy dinner tonight if I don't catch one. <laughs> ages since I caught a carp. <laughs> That's the thing about carp fishing, it makes you greedy. It certainly makes me greedy when I catch one. But my missus says it to me, you've caught one now, aren't you coming home? I'm like, well, how am I gonna catch two if I come home after the first one? <laughs> Sorry, love, I'm staying. Kijk eens aan, een prachtige graskaper. Niet waarvoor we gekomen zijn, maar uh, als je al bijna twee nachten niks vangt, is dit wel een super van harte welkome 
<laughs> komen vangst. En uh, ja, deze gaat snel terug. De heng moet ook weer snel terug. Olie had net een prachtige brasem, dus de vissen die komen zeker naar ons toe. Uh, voor nu genoeg gepraat. Deze gaat terug en op naar de volgende. The most exciting thing about stalking, and I think it's actually underrated as being one of the most exciting parts of carp angling, for me is watching the fish, uh, watching them feed. Uh, that moment where you know that they're feeding well enough that you could get a take, for me that's, that's a buzz. You know, I run back to the, to the van to get a rod and I'm skipping almost, totally different to, uh, to my normal gait. So yeah, it's, um, it's something that really gets my heart rate going. Uh, gets the pulse going and the blood pressure up. And for me, the most exciting part is watching that fish feeding close to your rig, knowing that you're going to get a bite soon. Um, sometimes it can be an agonizing wait, um, and sometimes it doesn't happen. You know, there are times where you're watching the fish feeding over you, and for some reason, you're not getting a bite. Um, and in that situation, there's something wrong usually. Um, and being able to watch the fish feeding, it teaches you a lot about carp behavior and it teaches you when you should be getting a bite and maybe you're not getting a bite, that you should be changing something. So indeed, you know, when I'm bushwhacker fishing as well, I'm quite happy to keep rolling the dice. If I feel like I should have had a bite, I'll reel it in and I'll redrop it. And the same with my margin fishing, although sometimes when you're fishing right over the top of them, it's difficult to get a rig in without spooking them, particularly in clear water. But yeah, super exciting way of fishing. It's time effective, it's bait effective, uh, and it's just the best way to catch them. Oh, it's a nice one. That didn't take long. Oh, come on. Quite a few pads down here. Oh, it's a nice mirror. Really nice mirror. took about 15 seconds. <laughs> huh. Well, that's a rather cool bendy old character. Yeah, the result of about 15 seconds with the rod in the water, but it was a little bit longer in terms of preparation. I've been watching this spot for a couple of hours now and feeding them. And yeah, I decided I was gonna uh, try and nick a quick bite because it's a little bit slow on the big lake. But yeah, what a lovely old carp result. Look, I'm on. Right, let's get going. Managed to nick a bite. So we're off to a new venue. Maybe a 50 pound common. So when I'm looking for fish, I prefer to see them with my eyes. I mean, a drone can be a fantastic tool for like kind of locating them in an area of the lake but I really want to watch those fish with my own eyes and see how they're behaving. Uh, just simply finding them isn't always a good indicator as to whether you're going to get a bite or a quick bite or not. Um, I think the more time you spend watching the carp the more in tune you become to their behaviour and you begin to learn that if you come across a fish whether it's catchable or not and again this week we have found fish which were definitely not catchable but when we have found fish that, that were catchable, it has happened really, really quickly. Yeah, so I put fish back leads. Um, Ollie legt net zijn laatste hengel in. En uh, ik zit bij mijn, bij mijn tent, spullen aan het opruimen. Je moet toch wat redelijk docht kort hier bij de hengels zitten. En uh, ik krijg gewoon uit het niets een mega aanbeet. En ja, we staan te drillen. Het, uh, ja, het verkassen, het vele kilometers rijden, wordt echt beloond. En uh, laten we hopen dat we deze uh, binnen kunnen krijgen. En dan zijn we ook op deze put van de nul af. <laughs> wat een week. Zo, vis zit in het net, 
Maar uh, jullie hebben straks al op de andere locatie een mooie gaskaper zien. Ik ga het beestje niet onnodig stress aan doen. Snel even onthaken en dan uh, gaan we snel terugzetten. Engeltje moet ook weer snel terug, want het begint al aardig uh, donker te worden. Dus uh, snel deze er terugzetten en dan hopelijk naar de volgende. Zo. Nou, daar gaat hij. Oh, Oh. De dag zit er bijna op. De hengeltjes liggen weer op scherp. En uh, ja, we zitten lekker te genieten van een prachtige zonsondergang. Ondertussen krijg je uh, Olio een paar piepen op zijn hengel, dus dat is veelbelovend. Uh, na die uh, graskarpen is aardig stil gebleven. En, uh, ik denk dat we dadelijk wat lekkers, uh, lekkers wat gaan eten en dan uh, gaan we ons mandje in. Ik verwacht er wel wat van. Uh, rond het water wordt er toch aardig wat uh, gevangen. Dus uh, ik denk zeker dat we wat actie gaan uh, krijgen. Voor nu, ik ga mijn muggenspul pakken, want we worden echt opgevreten door de beesten. En dan hopelijk zien we jullie straks uh, met een mooie kaper. King in the castle. King in the castle, King in the castle. Oh, it's just under 20 kilos. <laughs> oh, mate. What a fish. Check this fish out. We've literally been here, what, three hours? Uh, it's just got dark. And yeah, I didn't really want to keep this one. As much as I would love daytime shots of it, it's just a little bit early. Oh, but yeah, look at this fish. 43 and a half pounds, a beautiful Dutch mirror. <laughs> Thanks, boys. That's my first common of the trip this morning, and Marco's had a lovely one as well. Um, it's time for me to go. I've got a crossing booked. I've had a really wicked time this week. The boys have properly looked after me, and we've had some great fishing, haven't we, mate? Yes, mate. Lovely times. Lovely times. Lekker times. <laughs> <Lekker> times. <laughs> I love Holland. Do you know what? I was actually supposed to be coming back next week, but I've caught so well this week, I'm not coming back. <laughs> no, I, I, I want to come back later in the year, Robin. I want us to fish together. You've worked really hard this week, smashed it, so uh, it would be good if we could have a little social and you can get the rods out. Deal? Deal. See you soon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 